I'm actually an entrepreneur. I have two businesses that I own. And uh, Malcolm, what do you look for in a woman? First and foremost, you have to be a God-fearing woman. I would also say someone with accountability, someone also that is just genuinely kind. I feel it. You're beautiful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Right. <laughs> she has a pretty face if you're asking her face. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Your skinny jeans. Oh, okay. Dude, you what? can't make this up. These women rejected this man because he didn't communicate like a woman. What we are seeing a lot of in today's culture is the feminization of society. And as a result of this feminization, men feel as though they must act like women when communicating with them, especially in the aspect of dating them as to not scare them off. And women expect this because the elements of masculinity, meaning direct communication that's based in logic, reason, and rationality is demonized and labeled discriminatory. Women are naturally more selective in their dating than men are, but these women are not rejecting men for dating disqualifiers, but instead because of ideological triggers. And on top of that, their sensitivity is compounded when in a group of women that are all experiencing these ideological triggers, this isn't an insult to women, it's not putting them down. They've evolved this way for their evolutionary safety in the same way men have evolved to create things and build enterprise and gather and forge resources, the modern day equivalent. So you see in real time a single woman's irrational choice to pop her balloon cascade into every other woman there signaling that the ideology was violated and so the balloon must be popped. Even the top comment on this video, which was left by a woman, notes the incredible sensitivity of these women. But what I'm here to tell you is that this was ideologically induced. And keep in mind throughout this video, I'm talking about the faults of degenerate femininity, not femininity itself. As you can see in the comments, multiple women are calling out the absolute insanity that you're, that you're seeing. Being single, 30, using astrology signs as an excuse to pop your balloon is insane. This other woman says, the first guy and the lawyer were my favorite. Shout out to the lawyer guy for challenging these women beyond their shallow thought process. This other woman, I want to provide our leader and protector, the men, being hardworking providers and protectors. Women, I don't like your outfit. So as you can see, lots of women are calling this out. And the only real people that have a problem with this type of analysis that I'm doing are conceited, resentful, low verbal IQ, effeminate personalities, which just in terms of the statistics end up being mostly women. But this also applies to men with beta personalities, weak men who don't know how to argue or think logically or coherently. I'm gonna be focusing mostly on when this first guy walks on. And what do you do? Um, I'm actually an entrepreneur. I have two businesses that I own that I own. I have a solutions business and also own a cleaning service, which I property manage for. Okay, very nice. Yeah. And uh, Malcolm, what do you look for in a woman? First thing I would say, first and foremost. Bro, all these used up boss queens in their 30s, they don't even qualify. Used up, used up, old, old, overweight, used up, old. First and foremost, you have to be a God-fearing woman. But I would also say someone with accountability, someone also. You came to the wrong place for accountability. That is just genuinely kind. Okay, so. cool, all right. Those, those three things. <laughs> The very first balloon. <laughs> I want a woman that's uh, accountable, God-fearing, and kind. Pops balloon. Nice. Okay, so we did get a few balloons popped. Let's go over to these ladies, see what's going on there. Hi, my name is Fiana. I am 34. Bro, you can't make this up. She doesn't even qualify. Anyway, yeah, um, so you own two businesses and are put together and literally are in the top, like, five percentile of women that, you know, all black women, let's be honest, want to date. Oh, well, um, yeah, I'm just going to pop my balloon. Let's figure out why. Um, and I pop my balloon mainly because of the height. Okay. Um, I do prefer someone to look... Bro, he's taller than you and you're in heels. What? A bit taller just because I wear heels a lot, so that's the only reason, but you're super handsome. Well, trees get chopped down every day. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your name and how old you are? I'm Josette and I'm 29. And Josette, what do you do? I'm a flight attendant and a makeup artist. All right. And why did you end up dead in career, flight attendant and makeup artist? You have black women wondering why they're single when they reject guys because they're like two inches shorter, three inches shorter than they wish they were or something. Popping your balloon for Malcolm. The random, you know, Disney fairy tale fantasy that they have in their head. Oh my gosh, in my head, I thought that my Prince Charming is actually a six foot four billionaire. Anyway, yeah, I'm 35 with multiple children. Just height. That's all. I'm just, I just prefer someone who's taller than me, at least with him. Well, you know what's sad is that fairy tales should be what women aim for. It's good that when we're kids, we watch these idealized versions of, of reality. But the problem gets when you have women in their 30s who have made multiple bad choices, who can't take accountability because to them accountability is violence and oppression, and they still think they deserve Prince Charming when they're not the perfect virgin princess. In other words, it's a total disconnection from reality. Ill, so that's it. Understood. There's a couple cool brothers in the back that's taller than me. I'm sure you <laughs> like. 
I'm Sierra. I'm 27. And Sierra, what do you do? I'm a behavior therapist and wellness coach. Okay, okay. Why did she stumble over that? Also, she's the only one here that's not like past the wall. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Your skinny jeans. Oh, okay. Dude, you well, can't make this up. Anyway, I'm, I own multiple businesses. I've defied all the odds for our group of people. Statistically, every single black woman wants to date me. Yeah, but um, I don't like the pants that you wore today, so. What's up with the skinny jeans? Yeah, I, I wonder why I'm single. <laughs> anyway, I'm on a dating show for being single. Uh -huh. But if even one tenth, understand that even if one tenth of the accountability that I just vocalized entered her head, she would consider it to be masculine oppression. I don't like skinny jeans on men. Okay. I feel it. I like the fit. You know, I really do fuck with the fit. And then another random balloon pops. Oh my gosh! Yeah, true. I didn't. I didn't. I forgot that he's wearing skinny jeans. I guess I can't date him anyway. I'm, I'm 36 with children. Do you like what you like? So that's all good, mom. I ain't tripping. Yeah. I do like your hair though. Thank you, <laughs> bro. He's so polite. Again, just echelons above these women. None of these women deserve him. None. <laughs> Give me ramen noodle vibes, but hey. I like it. Like. I mean, I've gotten that before. You know, I got. Cur and bro, you're about to see that the women take that as an insult, but she didn't take it as an insult. Check that out right there. <laughs> Give me ramen noodle vibes, but hey. I like it. Like. I mean, I've gotten that. See, she didn't. See, she wasn't insulted by that. Before you know, I got curls, so hey. But no, you're beautiful. <laughs> How's that? No. Thank you. Right. <laughs> and now we can have your name and how old you are. Nucci, I'm 25. And Nucci, what do you do? I'm a behavioral health therapist, and I also rap. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon for Malcolm? Um, you're a very handsome man. I just wish like you would have got the beard a little lined up. Um, Bro, this this is so delusional. What do you mean? If that isn't a lined up beard, then literally we're all we're all fucked. We're all screwed, dude. Are you kidding me? It looks like you went to the barber like right before this. Now, to be fair, th these aren't standards that I've really seen outside of I'll just say it like the black community. No white girl that I've dated has been like, um, yeah, uh, why isn't your fade like perfectly manicured or something? That's just never happened to me. I've never seen it anywhere else either. But what I feel like she's trying to do here is come up with a fake excuse to pop her balloon because again, all the other women are starting to pop their balloons for. God knows what ideological reason. The reason why I do know it's ideological, though, is that it ramps up the more he starts to impose masculine standards, which, of course, men are entitled to in the same way women are entitled to their standards when dating. But the more standards he vocalizes, the more they're not okay with it, even though he's way above them in every level of analysis you could possibly fathom. That's really it. Everything else, like, the height doesn't bother me, your outfit, you look fly. Yeah, I'm trying to figure Braids out my beard fly. look a little off at, but... Bro, he's literally looking at the camera like, yeah, what are you talking about? My beard is literally, like, trimmed. I mean, you got I'm a little scruffs. You got a little scruffs. But, well, yeah. yeah I mean, what are these stand... Dude, you're literally overweight, and these are your standards? It's kind of the intent, because it's like... Oh, you know, that's... Your belly's literally, like, pushing itself out of your shirt. I mean, I'm not trying to be toxic or mean, right? But, like... You're talking about random, like, hairs on his, like, you know what I mean? And then they ask, why am I single? Why are men not wanting to date me? They're on a show for being single, and then they're proving why they're single. If what you like, then, you know, it's no, shade, it's no shade, it's no shade at all. Right. It's just not what I prefer. Right. <laughs> Presentations, everything. Yeah. What? But you're very, thank you. Yeah. She has a pretty face, if you're asking her face. Another balloon popped. <laughs> Damn, I can't like somebody with a pretty face. <laughs> That's a start. Like, oh, oh, thank I, you, Nishi. I wish I'd be that guy, but yeah, thank you as well, Nishi. There it is. The more he talks about his masculine standards. <laughs> All right. It doesn't even matter if they're positive. Just the reminder that men have standards that therefore apply and judge women is more than they could fathom. We can have your name and how old you are. Hi, my name is Quay. This girl has kids, by the way. Hey, and I'm 31. And Quay, why did- Before you guys in the chat start simping all over, yeah, she has kids. Gender oh, sorry, Quay, what do you do? <laughs> um, I'm a courtroom uh, operations manager. Okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, it's just, I like a darker s complexion, um, just like taller. Then why didn't you pop your balloon sooner? This, guys, is why pre-selection is such a big deal, meaning that if you are seen around women and women liking you, being comfortable with you, etc. It is a huge green flag to other girls because it means that they don't have to go through the vetting process as stringently. That's the reason why her balloon wasn't popped at the beginning. But when other girls started popping, when other girls started popping their balloons, she thought to herself, okay, I can pop my balloon now. I don't really need to have a good reason. I'll admit that I like this guy. I'll pop my balloon anyway because other girls are popping there. So, you know, there must be a reason. This is the group think. This is the hive mind thinking I was talking about at the beginning of the video. They're darker and that's really about it. Because that was a deal breaker, Logically, she would have popped it as soon as he walked out. She's talking about height and his complexion. I'm pretty short, but we're kind of almost around the same height with my heels on. Uh, almost? Is... Bro, what? She, okay, first of all, she's in heels. Second of all, you know, and I don't have a horse in this race because I'm, I'll be honest, I'm taller than this guy by like three or four inches. But 
He's not short by any means. He's like at least six, seven inches taller than this girl. Yeah, I think we're pretty uh, close. Actually, yeah, with the hat on, understandable. Quay, how pretty close. What are you talking about? Oh, how, how tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'2". Bro, five two. you're kidding. 5'2"? And how tall are you? 5'10". Okay, okay. All right, so now... Bro, um, even if he's lying, even if he's like 5'8", which, you know, that's kind of short, but still, like, that's what, six inches taller? Is Quay your type? Yeah, nah. And keep in mind, these girls are in their 30s, so they shouldn't be picking and choosing. They're literally on a show for being single. She's dope, and the hat is definitely very fitting. It's cool, it's cute. And again, with the piercings, I'm, I'm one for one of those, so like, it's cool. Like, that's all good. Okay. Yeah. It's so awkward too. I, I'll, I'll be completely honest. Go out on a limb here. Let me know if you guys agree with what I'm about to say. Maybe it's just me. But there's this air of like uncomfortability that all these women have for basically no reason. As if they're trying to make it awkward to try to shame him a little bit or something. Like why is she Why is she looking at him that way? Why, is, why are they all just sort of like, oh, this is so awkward and weird. He's literally just talking about what he finds attractive after she did the exact same thing. For one of those, so like it's cool. Uh, that's all good. Okay. Why is she, why is she yeah. looking at him that way? Okay, there we go. So, so awkward. We already spoke to you, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, if we can have your name. Mom, and don't get me started on this, boss queen. How old you are? My name is Jessica, and I'm 31. And Jessica, what do you do? Uh, I work in nonprofit, and I also model as well. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, it was the comment about the ramen noodles. So, I know y'all gonna call the pot, uh, the kettle black, however you say it. You said but... pot, there was some ramen. I just wanted to let that be known, but it's Dude. Cool. And the girl wasn't even offended. She laughed. <laughs> no, because, I mean, she said that, you know. It's the masculine standards yet again. No, she didn't like guys with skinny jeans, but it was like, she ain't really serve you no shade. So it was like, you really kind of went. You thought I was going to show you, though? I definitely yeah, the ramen noodles. I mean, noodles this shit look like ramen. Dude, okay, so let me explain something here. This girl is way beneath him on every level. She's a three. Even though she's wearing probably a pound and a half of makeup on her face, she's an adjustable three at most. She's overweight, she's old. From a sexual market perspective, shout out Kevin Samuels, she is on clearance. This guy is only going up. His trajectory looks like this if you were to graph it. Her trajectory looks like this if you were to graph it, okay? And she's essentially making up reasons to pop her balloon. If women were not infected with the essentially mental disability, we'll be honest, that's what it's called, a men the mental disability of feminism, they would be lining up to get with men like this. And guys, research proves me correct. When I say the left and feminism take advantage of women that are easily resentful of the world because, you know, they might be ugly, they might be old, they might have, you know, any number of things that have gone wrong for them, that have come as a result of them making bad choices. Research shows that the most miserable group of people in the world are single, childless women between the ages of 40 and 60 years old. So the facts are indisputable. I mean, a little bit too, like, you know, if you think about it, but it's okay. <laughs> it was well, kind it of really a... won't dance, right? I'm saying, right. but understood. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest and say something else controversial here. There's obviously a massive IQ gap here as well. He's way smarter than she is. This is, the, the interaction here is an interaction between somebody with 105 IQ versus like 120. Uh, it's okay. It was well, kind it of It really a... won't dance. Maybe 115. Hey, I'm saying, right. but understood. It, See, but he's that... operating up here. He's like, I could have said the exact same thing about my own pants because look at my pants. You're basically complaining about nothing and you're overweight. What are you even doing? Why are you talking to me? That was it, but I think you're extremely handsome. You guys can swag to you. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I dig it. You don't like the jeans, though? Are you? It looks good to me. <laughs> <laughs> no. See, that's going to anger women because he's holding them accountable. Watch for another balloon pop. I just wanted to know. You know. <laughs> All right. Future references to women. <laughs> I, think, I thought the ramen thing was kind of funny, but you know. It was. No, so, I, so she admits to being incoherent. I'm sorry. No, as you should. I work in the banking industry. Okay. And why did you end up pop yeah, we can see that. popping your balloon? Um, I think you're very handsome. I feel like we would be like really good friends. The level of standards that these women that are on clearance have is, is like up here, but their position is down here. Now women since the beginning of time have wanted to date up and across socioeconomic hierarchies, but never has it been so exorbitantly disconnected from reality. You have women like this that definitely believe she deserves a guy that's making a million dollars a month driving a Lamborghini, which, hey, I'm not complaining about because that's the type of guy that I'm trying to become anyway. But the problem is men that get to that level don't date women like this, which there encapsulates her delusion. This guy is way above her. So crazy to watch. Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah. We can. You work in the, at the bank. <laughs> we can, yeah. We can for sure be good friends. I'm a yeah. business owner. Yeah, okay. Can, that's yeah. cool. That's, okay. that's cool, man. And now you said he's handsome. So what made you say you can only be friends with him? Um, I guess it's just like a feeling I have. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so let's just be friends. Do you find him attractive? Yes. Well, so why do you not want to date him? I guess it's just a feeling. Yeah. You are? I'm Taylor and I'm 28. And Taylor, what do you do? 
I'm a business owner. Okay, yes. nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, first off, I think you're very handsome as well. Uh, the outfit's creamy. You look good. <laughs> um, yeah, get the money. Dollar dollar bills, yeah, y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you said you're five ten. I don't think you're five ten. Are you six foot? No. Oh well. No, baby. Okay. I'm five seven, but maybe I mean, five nine. I mean, with the heels off, I'm. Thank you mm-hmm. as well. Thank you. I like okay. the Cam Newton hat. Oh, Cam, oh, you got to do me like that? <laughs> or who's Cam Newton, by the way? <laughs> Based. <laughs> so, bro, watch these women get upset after the very first thing he says that it's, it's essentially like serving them back. They've been criticizing him this entire time. The very first thing he says anything, oh my gosh, dude, look at this girl's face. What you mean? How can it I? can't be like Alicia Keys, like Eric. No, Biden? that's my baby, so I can't just. Oh, like, okay, yeah. yeah. See, I'm glad I popped the balloon. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you did. And now, is she your type? No, I thought. Look at all these women conversing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he just said that. Are we going to condemn him for it? Anyway, he was being funny, but should we condemn him for it? Uh, she has a good precedent about her. Spoiler alert this girl throughout this entire video, which I might show you clips of, has gotten picked on a lot for her hat. And now, is Taylor your type? No. Okay, why no. not? Uh, the hat really throw me off, the Willy Wonka thing. I don't really like it like that. Um, Willy I like Wonka. the, no, no, I mean, I like the dress, the two that show okay, right well, here. Okay, well, the nice. back of your head is ridiculous, sir. Ooh, it's ooh, kind of flat. I mean, mean, bro, and they wonder why black men don't want to date black women. She's insulting his head after he said he doesn't like her hat. You're kidding me, right? Talking it, about hats. Uh, you need I, a hat. I'll be honest with you. But he does, he does obliterate her here, so. I don't really care about the back of my head. I care about the front, but it's all good. You have to come for me. We can have your name and how old you are. Yeah. I'm Willy Wonka, and I'm 28. I'm just kidding. I'm Taylor, and I'm 28. Dude, all the other women are laughing at her, too. Good, because you're a freak. Hi, uh, how you doing, Taylor? Yeah. This, is, this guy's like, what is going on right now? Uh, she's not really my type. In what way? Uh, uh, the hat just threw me off. Other than that, okay. it, it's the hat, for sure. Okay. Also, that older, overweight girl that you know I mentioned is old and overweight. Another guy came on and said that she had way too much makeup on, which was fantastic. I'll throw a clip of that in, too. Partially, yeah, I just can't tell what you look like under there with that much makeup on. It's me underscore gorgeous. I definitely have a lot of pictures without any makeup, so. Shout out to my esthetician, because my skin is beautiful. <laughs> got to rate this here. Okay. Uh, All right, cool. So now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go back over here. Is that you? <laughs> she like, I should slide. Is it Cam Newton hat? What is it? No one has a sense of humor in that side. Thank you. Bro, this guy's like, what are these women that I'm like, talking to right now who are these people the answer is they're not actually sentient people they were before they walked on this stage they were individuals but when they collectivized when they got together they decided oh my gosh we have to agree that we're all going to abide by this radically resentful left-wing feminist ideology if he says anything that exercises boundaries or parameters we have to instantly condemn it because that's not safe we have to be remain safe this is the reason why if you see maps of if only women voted every single state would go blue. And if you see maps of if only men voted, every single state would go red. Because men want more freedom, less tyranny, more logic, more reason, basically more policy based on rationality. Where the women want basically a police state where everything is regulated. You can't do anything. You're not free to do anything. But in exchange, you get the illusion of safety because they can't exercise their will in the world in the same way men can. That's what you're seeing here. And that might seem abstract that I'm deriving that from this interaction here. But it's only because... My IQ is higher than whatever person you normally watch on TikTok. All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. You got five. My name is Shannon Marie and I'm 30, oh, 29, I'll be 30 soon. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to hit the wall. Anyway, I'm gonna reject you because I had an emotional trigger. And what do you do? My mom asks me every single Christmas, Thanksgiving, why I'm single, I say it's because when men make jokes, I, I don't find it funny. I'm a hairstylist. hairstylist. All right, and why did you end up popping your balloon? I didn't like that petty comment. It, that was not cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, you made a petty comment, which by the way wasn't petty, but she thinks it is. You made a petty comment after literally we made 18 petty comments in a row. So on the one hand, you want the women clearly wanting men to act like women, which a lot of guys do. They're the ones that we put in the category of simps or betas. But then we also have the double standard of, oh my gosh, how dare you act like a lady? You you exhibit our behavior back to us. That's literally oppression because you're reminding us of how our behavior is not good. How could you do that? That's oppression. 
You could have said Erica Badu. You could have said anybody else, but like Cam Newton. Like, 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 come on. And she has know. locks. This like, is the, bro, this is the reason why stand-up comedians are all men, dude. Like, his locks are not the best. They don't even know. They don't even know when something's a joke or funny. That was literally hilarious. I didn't know who that guy was. I don't know who Cam Newton was when I Google him. That's hilarious that he called her that. That's funny. Objectively funny. So like, I'm not looking at that grown man's locks. Like I'm a that. big fan of his though. I'm saying though, but he has. And now he's trying to explain comedy to a woman who is already emotionally triggered. <laughs> That's gonna go well. But hat. you compared like, it, it to a, a male. Well, you could have said a female. Just because it's a man that wears nice yeah, hats. Yeah, and, and he he look a little shabby sometimes. Just like the economy of makeup is 99% consumed by women. The market of comedy is 99% consumed by men. There's it's it's a there's a reason for that. The same law applies. Men and women are not the same, but feminism wants to insist that we are. Have you seen the audience of like Kill Tony when he sells at the garden or at the stable center? The audience is literally filled with men, and the only women you see there are the girlfriends of the guys that drag their girlfriends to see that stuff. Kill Tony is objectively hilarious. Oh my gosh, you said she looks like a, a, a man? That's, that must be oppression. Anyway, because it reminded me of a standard. <laughs> and she looks Bruh. beautiful. I never denounced that she was. Okay, I, I know, you know, but I'm just saying you compared her to somebody that's kind of shabby. And now, and now you're seeing him. Essentially, it's decide, okay, I'm not going to argue with this girl because she's not dealing in logic anyway. But what that does is it signals to her that she's right when she's actually wrong. So you shouldn't do this. I didn't like that. No, I that was a little petty. I compared it to a This man. is the reason women can't be leaders, bro. Imagine being led by someone like this. Think, Just think about it. Outside being called sexist or whatever you want to call it. Think of being led by a person that's like, yeah, that's not funny what you just did. She's literally a boss queen. Her hair is perfect. And women know this too. This is the reason why... Multiple women, including women I interviewed on the street, say they're not voting for Kamala Harris because they know women cannot lead anything. And so those issues. Yeah, it was a little petty. Okay. It was a little petty. Was is he your type? Um, I like the way he dresses, <laughs> and he seems really cool. Bro, stop it! Come on, come on, bro, come on. You can't make this up, dude. You can't. You actually can't make this up. So is he your type? Well, yes. And anyway, I'm turning 30. My mother asks me why I'm single every single Christmas, but I have to tell her it's because I don't like jokes. But when he displayed that pettiness, that's just not my type at all. My apologies. Yeah. It wasn't. Do not be a simp. Do not apologize to these women for anything. They should not be leaders. They should not. Anyway, can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> all right. And now it... Well, I'm saying you asked Dude, me. And look at and look at that smirk coming from that other girl. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I kept a, a, a fellow girl single in her 30s because of an ideology. Ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, and now cringe. It, that's everyone. <laughs> All right. Bro, so this guy literally looks better than most people watch walking around nice areas. And you're telling me that on a panel of basically used up old overweight women, some of them with kids, none of them would go on a date with him. If you want to know why society is messed up, this would be a good place to start. So, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. That is unfortunate. Dude, one of the girls said his beard wasn't properly lined up. Like, what is going on right now? That is cool. <laughs> we were not able to find you a match today, but hopefully next time. Thank you so much for oh, coming on. Thank you. I <laughs> all right. That. See how many women pop their balloons. Welcome in. What's your name? My name is Evan. Evan, how old are you? 25. 25? Okay, and what do you do? So, I'm a pro basketball player. And, uh, Sure. I'm a pro basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is beyond parody. This is beyond parody, bro. Literally a pro basketball player, dude. And he's being rejected by like 33-year-old bimbos with children. Think about that, dude. So are you... I prefer that. Okay. So are you trying to... He's like 6'6". Say that she's wearing too much... And they rejected the other guy because he's, quote, too short. They're rejecting this... Bro, you can't, you can't make this up.